going on? This is Travis P11. I'd like to welcome you back to the channel. Well guys, 2018 was a great year for the channel and I cannot wait to look forward to what 2019 has in store. And uh, while we didn't add as many new firearms to the armories we did back in 2017 when we bought 12 guns, we did add five really cool firearms to the collection in 2018 and I just want to share them with you and explain why I picked them up and, and why I recommend them. So these are all five great choices. They won't necessarily break the bank, but they're going to be good, reliable farms that maybe you should check into for the year 2019 for yourself. So again, guys, I want to thank the viewers for you guys watching. A lot of what you see here was purchased with Patreon funds, was purchased with AdSense revenue, as well as money, as well as money out of my own pocket, and I put all this stuff right back into the channel. So let's go ahead and get started. Starting off with number five. We've got the Glock 17 Gen 4. Now, it doesn't seem like a big deal. You've seen this on my channel before. That Glock, Gen, uh, Glock 17 Gen 4 that you saw previously on the channel was actually sold to my best friend and his wife. It was their first firearm. Um, I took them to the range. They absolutely fell in love with it. After I sold it to him, I went about six months without a G17, and I had to have another one. So I picked one up. So this was purchased uh, back in the fall of 2018. I did dress it up with a uh, mill spin back plate. looks kind of cool. We'll have a video on that pretty soon coming up too. But uh, love it or hate it, it's been reliable. It's been a great firearm. They're very versatile. You can make them fit you well. And uh, the prices on them are not too bad, so do check them out. Okay, the Glock 17 Gen 4. Oh, by the way, everything you see right here was either purchased at or through SS Pond in Lexington, Nebraska. And uh, SS Pond has been a sponsor of the channel for a long time. Do you understand? He does loan me firearms from his private collection to show off on the channel. And they give great prices to anybody that uh, gives them a call. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and move on to number four. Number four is the Mossberg Patriot uh, chambered in 6.5 Creedmoor. I know, I know, there's a lot of hype around 6.5 Creedmoor. A lot of people like to, uh, to, to, to call it, you know, the, the caliber to end them all. It's a great caliber. I mainly bought this because I wanted to get into 6.5. I wanted to get in on, on, you know, without having to break the bank. And this is a perfect rifle to do so. The recoil is really not that bad. It shoots a one inch group at 100 yards. I'll have some range tests of this coming up for you guys to check out. Um, and that's just running some Remington Core Locked Ammunition. Uh, with the scope, I think they run around $350. And I've taken the scope that comes with it off and put my preference scope back on here, the one that I usually shoot with. And we're going to be getting ready for a winter deer hunt here coming up. And, uh, you know, it does offer a lot of value for the money. It's durable, it's rugged, you kind of beat it around a little bit. Not to feel bad if you scratch the stock or kind of knock it around a little bit, but again, an awesome rifle. So the Mossberg Patriot chambered in 6.5 Creedmoor. Uh, this is going to be the round that's going to get me into uh, reloading, by the way. All right, so coming in at number three, again, just a number, another really simple kind of bread and butter rifle. We got the uh, PSA uh, AR-15. This one's got a middling gas system. Now the lower is an Anderson lower, and the story behind this is I had a viewer of the channel that had uh, decided to just contribute to me directly instead of going through Patreon because they didn't like how much money Patreon was taking. And they also put a part for the trigger group in the envelope and they said, hey, now that you got the part, why don't you go ahead and build yourself an AR-15 and do something with the funds, put it towards some sort of a project. And I said, you know what, I think I'm going to do that. And then they said, hey, I was just kidding. But by that point, it was too late. I already purchased a lower. I already had the parts kit. And I was working on building my first AR-15 lower, which is a very easy experience. It's very simple, very fun, something you should look into doing. Um, these are great guns. You don't have to spend a lot of money on them. I think total, you can get this whole package you see right here for under $400, pretty much out the door. Uh, they're very soft shooters with the Midland gas system. It's fairly accurate. Um, I do want to get it back out with some 62 or 64, 62 grain uh, ammunition. Shoots okay with 55, but I think with the rate of twist, it prefers a 64. But uh, keep that in mind if you're looking at one of these rifles. So again, this is the uh, Midland Gas System PSA AR-15 with the Anderson Lower. You can also go with the PSA Lower if you want to, too, and uh, you'll be all set to go. Okay, moving on to number two. Number two, we have the Midland Backpacker Shotgun. Now, these are available in 12-gauge, 20-gauge, as well as 410. They're just a single-shot uh, shotgun. They're nothing too fancy, nothing too crazy. What I like about them is the fact that they do fold in half. They're very easy to conceal in a duffel bag or backpack if you're going to be doing some camping or you're going to be doing some uh, traveling and you don't want to uh, draw a lot of attention to yourself. Uh, they also have various barrel links that you can pick up too. They run around $120, $125 and uh, you really can't go wrong with this. You have an adjustable length of pull by taking out some of the plates from the back here. But Midland Backpacker Shotgun, very cool. Recoil is really not that bad, although I do have it set up with some buckshot for home defense. But uh, something to think about if you want a nice kind of traveling gun, something to kind of play around with. And I don't have any single shot shotguns on the channel, so I thought, well, hey, this is a good way to go ahead and get into it. So the Midland Backpacker Shotgun, do check it out. And last but not least, guys, the number one gun that I purchased on the channel is the Ruger EC9S. Now, no big deal, it's a very, 
budget friendly pistol. You can pick these up for a little over 200 bucks, around maybe 210, 220 dollars. I when I you know I wasn't even planning on buying it. I decided just to kind of hold on to it in the pawn shop and see how it felt in the hand. It fits my hand perfectly. It's lightweight. It's easy to conceal. It did replace my car CT9, which had been my daily carry for the last two years. And uh, I absolutely love it. What really surprises me is the lack of recoil and how easy it is to keep on target. The trigger is fantastic. If you're uh, familiar with the Ruger LC9S, this is basically the budget-friendly version of that gun. Uh, if you've ever fired the, uh, the Ruger Security 9, uh, it also has the same type of trigger group in it too, so you're going to be familiar with that also. So, Ruger EC9S, if you have the extra 50 bucks, just get the LC9S because it's going to come with adjustable sights as well as a different finish on it. But Again, for just a simple budget entry, it's just a backup gun or a daily carry gun. You really cannot go wrong with the Ruger EC9S. So this is my personal carry right now and definitely one of my favorites. Okay, guys, so that's it. I want to thank you for joining me today. These are the top five and only five firearms that I purchased in 2018. The shift on the channel is going to be changing more towards reloading, optics. We're going to get some good glass to start putting on these, uh, these firearms that you see on the channel when we take them out and test them. And uh, I think it's going, to be, uh, it's going to be a good thing. We're still going to bring you firearms tests and range tests and cleaning videos and tabletop reviews and all that fun stuff. But again, my emphasis is going to change on 2019 as I've got a weapons collection I'm pretty content with right now. And uh, there's other areas I want to expand into as a shooter. Uh, and again, reloading is going to be a big one for me. So that's it, guys. I want to thank you for joining us today. Uh, make sure you follow us on, on Instagram and Twitter. You can also follow us on GunStreamer and YouTube. I'm also on Facebook, all over the place, guys. GunTube.org and GunChannels.com. Otherwise, that's it, guys. And, uh, yeah, so have yourselves a great 2019. Have a great new year. Be safe. Have fun. And as always, guys, we will talk to you soon. All right, take care. Bye-bye.